Yo, it's Joe Shot Shooter Designer Shorty. You now tuning in to Twin Questions with Weezy. Start out a four way and we're about to get into it. I got 20 Shoot. questions with Weezy. Man. So, what's up, man? Man, bro. What's going on, man? man. How, you, how, you, how you doing? Man, I'm doing good. Doing bro. good, man. I see you looking like the man over here. Man, no, that's you looking like the man. You know what I mean? You the one with the jewelry on. You hear me? Shade. Man, you know I, mean? I got this from the dollar store. The man. beer, you hear? Oh, what? Well, I know you ain't get this from no dollar store. You, you what? what? Five dollars. Nah, five dollars. I, I feel you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> how you been, man? How you been? Cause I wanna, I really wanna talk today, man. I'm, I'm okay. glad you, I'm glad you were on the show. Appreciate I'm glad it, bro. you were able to make it out. You know, I'm glad to be here. You all the way coming from all the way from Chicago. You, you know, know it. That's a little trip. It's a little trip. I mean, I had to make that trip for you, my boy. Man, appreciate it, man. Cause yeah. we've been through a lot. I kinda, oh yeah. I kind of want to reflect on that. Okay. You know what I mean, yeah, you know that's good. I'm, I'm with um, it. Let's do it. Man, so about five years, like five years ago, for real. Like I was, I was, I was really an intern at the studio, and um, DJ tracks. Yeah, DJ tracks. Yeah, mm -hmm. DJ tracks. I wasn't even really supposed to be recording. Yeah. But um, but they went ahead and let me record, and uh, and your man Jay. Yeah. Um, had came up. He he had hit me up. Like, oh, shout out my boy, studio. something else. Like right, something else, man. Shout shout out, man. One of you, we probably wouldn't even be right here right now. Um, so now. Uh, I had um. He had hit me. Uh, he had hit me. Like, he said, I need a session. I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all pulled up. Immediately, when I saw you, I'm like, okay. <laughs> he came in with a bag, with a book bag, you feel me? Came in with a bag of blues. I can't make this up. <laughs> like five years ago, you came in with a bag of blues. I ain't know who you was. Before the pandemic, too. Before the pandemic, yeah, way before the pandemic. I mean, you came in with the blues. I'm like, who is this dude? I don't know him. I think no he was from three hundred dollars in there, man. Come on, man. I want no three hundred in there. Man. It was all blues. It was counting. Yeah. Um. So. So. You had got in the studio. Yeah. Some of us had said, "Hey, he hard, man." You know what I mean? But I had to see for myself because I know talent when I see it. Yeah. And. And I had um, I recorded the song. I didn't mix the song. But I had recorded it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the whole time I was recording, I'm like, hey, he hard. He got the sound. He got Thank the you, look. Bro. Thank you. Oh, uh, automatically, I already knew he was going places. I already knew he was going places. Yeah. I mean, I felt the same way, bro. Like, when we was doing, um, we started to work because, you know, at that time, you know, I was working with Versus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like my main man, engineer. Look, so man, we got to talk about that, too. Because yeah. you wouldn't let me engineer nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Hey, no, for real, shout out to Versus, though, man. For real, man. He's super cold. I really wish I would have got, got a chance to meet him. Yeah, real, shout out man. my boy, man. Man, he's so cold with it. But, you know, yeah, I, I just seen your drive, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, I'm, if anybody know me, I'm very picky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Extremely picky just because I want the best out of things. You know what I'm saying? I'm a perfectionist in what I do. Right. So. Right. When it came to that situation, you know what I'm saying, I just seen you like how I am, like when I be trying to do things and and people give me constructive criticism, like I don't be like, you know what I'm saying, I be like, all right, let me try to do something, maneuver or right. fix it or be better. So right. when I see that you was that type of person, when it came to like us working and me complaining and then me being down here for a Wayne, that's why, you know, I gravitated to you like right. that because I, right. I seen the drive, bro. I seen it early, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You feel me? Because cause I know... The first session we ever had, we always just laughed. Yeah, you know oh yeah, I mean? oh yeah. That's all we ever did. It was like, oh, so the, the chemistry was there. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that that chemistry and that relationship is everything when you're in the studio. You know what I mean? The vibes gotta be right. Well, that's because you always got cookies and, and, bro, and candy and shit. Bro, but that was later on though. Damn. You know what I mean? But I do always. No, have bro, you have you had you have Starburst there. No, I did, didn't I? Yeah, Dang, you definitely I sure did. did. Like, mm -hmm. Look, look, I ain't gonna lie. Look, when it when it comes to me in the studio, I always gotta have the snacks. Bro, you keep the always snacks. gotta have the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm small, but I'm fat. Yeah. I don't get how that works. I don't either. I don't get how that works. You eat all type of stuff. <laughs> and you do it. I do, man. Mm -hmm. Um, so then, man, moving forward, man. Yeah. Um, I worked on your uh your first mixtape with first yeah first black yeah, um, and that was verse. uh. Man, what, 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 um, 
Man, what was it? Um, was it Diary of Vanessa? It was um. No. Man, I don't even know. Boy, it, it was so long ago. It was so old. I don't it, it was remember. So old, right, but man, yeah. but it was a dope mixtape though. A, it was a dope mixtape because because you did get the attention of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then, and then you came back down here and recorded with me, and we had recorded all off the J's. Yeah. 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 That that um that and did, did numbers. They did numbers, did on, numbers SoundCloud. on SoundCloud. Like, yeah. Like girl. over five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. And um. And, and, and then at that moment, I'm like, dang, oh, he went crazy. He out of here. He gone. Yeah. He gone. Oh, how did that? How did that make you feel? You know what I mean? Cause you Facetime me, but uh, like, how did it make you feel to get that many views on just one song? Uh, I mean, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. It felt good. It felt real good. Like for 25 minutes, and then when I looked at my bills. <laughs> It just went back to reality, <laughs> like, dang, man, like, dang. I made it. Is that a bill? Dang, I didn't make it yet. So, you know, that's kind of how it was, you feel me? So, right. like, like me, I feel like no matter how many accomplishments that I have made so far, I feel like that, you know, I still haven't fulfilled things because, you know, it, I can't change people's lives that I care about. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't change things in the world. And make a, the difference that I want to make. So right. you know, I don't feel like I made it yet. But accomplishments, I definitely acknowledge them. You know. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, you definitely acknowledge them. Yeah. Big winnings. <laughs> Big trophies. <laughs> Big trophies on your arm and shoulder. You know what I mean? Nah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely to show you that you could do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I was, I was watching somebody else with this stuff on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just. Yeah. Waiting on my turn, humbly, right, right, right. congratulating everybody, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to be humble, man. Like, like one thing I just want to say is, and it's 2022, so I'm about to I'm about to keep it all the way real. It's like, you know, you know me, bro, I support a lot of people, you right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And it's so many people that come to me that's not humble, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. they'd be, I'm the coldest rapper, or I'm cold, or I'm this and that, and that ain't nobody better than me. Yeah. But they talking to me, and I'm a rapper. Right, they telling right, me ain't nobody better than them, you know what I'm saying? Right. So and I and the first thing I say is, okay, where your music at? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then as soon as they show me their music, they got three views. Mm. They ain't got no no fans. No follow. They ain't, nobody even cares about you. Dang. But you the coldest rapper ever. Right. So right, right. I sit back and then I choose them out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I say, yeah, you probably the coldest rapper, but are you the coldest artist, mm. businessman? Like, can you put your music on the forefront so somebody can know who you are? Do you know mm. how to get yourself connected or put yourself in the forefront to where you need to be to solidify yourself as an artist? Okay. When you're talking to me, you're talking to a boss. I'm just not an artist. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I'm a CEO. I'm an artist. Yeah. I'm the cleanup man. I'm the right. hype man. I'm the manager man. I'm the picture man. I'm the everything right. man. So, you know, I be so humble with what I do because I just let the work show. Like, right, I just right, be like, well, right. go Google me. Right. I, feel I ain't you gonna on that. tell y'all I'm the coldest person in the world. Just go Google me. Check me out. I feel you on that. Because that's how I am. Like, yeah. like I, don't, I don't like to talk a lot. Yeah. Because my work is out there to be shown. Yeah. That's why it's out yeah. there. Because yeah. that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about the credentials. Yeah. Like, you know I got I mean? two plaques on my wall. You like, know? Like, we'll get into that. Oh, I mean, we definitely gonna get into that. Shut up. You know? No, no, no. Yeah. I'm just gotta talk. I just yeah, gotta talk my mean, shit, man. I've been yeah, real yeah, humble, man. Yeah, for the last yeah, two years, nah, man. I gotta nah, let them know, see. man. Like, no, nah, I definitely feel um, you, and that's and that's kind yeah. of where I'm at. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, been, I've been real humble, yeah. but I know in my mind that I done did this, I done did that. I understand you know that. what I mean? But you know, you, you need to keep that humbleness on you at all times. That way, they'll be like, oh, okay, when you do talk. And when you be like, oh, you come out with the jewelry or whatever you come out with, like, oh, dang, he really was working. Yeah. You, you showing your success. You know what I mean? You yeah. showing your flowers. You yeah, know what you're mean? right. And they're yeah. going to give you your flowers because you're doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what's kind of going on in my city right now. You know, I was always respected heavily. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. in the streets. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like heavily, yeah. heavily in my city. Right. You know, well respected. But when it came to the music, it'd be like, oh, look at look at Dice trying to rap. Because, you know, everybody right. called me Dice. That's, Dice, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they'd be like, oh, Dice over there still rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, at first. Mm, yeah, you at know? first. And then you can't deny my work ethics. Mm. So now, you know, people are starting to finally respect me. Like, 
Oh man, that's jump shot shooter, bro. What? The artist. What? That ain't dice. That's that's jump shot. That's you jump know shot what I'm saying? Shooter, yeah. So yeah, you know Put some I respect on your name. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So I I told myself this shit, man. I ain't finna be so humble. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because by me being so humble, people are starting to take advantage of my humbleness right. and my niceness and my givingness. If I sit down and talk to you for 20 minutes, you damn near owe me $100 because I probably gave you a million dollars worth of game. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I sit down and talk to you, what are you teaching me and what are you telling me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So right. I feel like people should be like, when I talk to people about things that's going on or I help them or I give them advice, yeah. You should be appreciative that I gave you that advice because right. nobody gave me none of it. Right. I had to go out yeah. there and figure it out. Right, because I you know, know a lot of people that's charging for the game. You know what I mean? And they, they getting the bag off of it. Yeah. You and you know me. So, you yeah. know I don't even sleep. I'm right. 24 hours right. woke. 24 hours. Right. right. So, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, a person can hit me 24 hours throughout the day and get game. But it's like this year, ain't no more I'm finna help you because it's like, I talk a lot of people how to put their videos on their own page so that they can acquire the revenue and the streams so right, that they right. can get all the sound scans and shit that they need so that they can start knowing where their money goes. You right. know what I'm saying? I put right. a lot of people in tune with that. A lot of people was like um, putting their videos on other people's channels. Yeah. And you put your videos on other people's channels, the, person, right. the first person that uploads it yep. is the owner of the stuff. Right. And not only that, they get all the they get the views. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So therefore, I've told a lot of people how to be independent. I've told a lot of people how to be independent, bro. Yes. And it's like, it's not how much being paid. And it's like, I broke a lot of barriers that people didn't break, like, right. as far as, like, being off the porch. I was one of the first right. in the Midwest after yeah. your cousin, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he was before me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Your cousin who was on off the porch, yeah, yeah. he was the first one. Yeah. I was right after him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so okay. we were like the pioneers of the Midwest right, right. of being like on off the porch and doing independent things. Like, And shout out to my boy Eric McNeil because he the reason I was on there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my cousin, Andrew. You know shout I mean? out to Andrew. Yeah, he was on there. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, that, and that's crazy, you know what I mean? Because people... People always want the gang. They want free stuff. They want yeah. this and, you know what I mean, just giving to them. But, man, they don't know how hard you work for that. You know what I mean? They no, know they how don't. how hard people work. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They just expect everything free. Yeah. But, not, I mean, nothing in this world is free. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to sacrifice something. Your time, your energy, your effort, you know what I mean? Your money, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever that is, you know what I mean? None is free. It's not. It's not. It's not. You know, you know what, what I'm mean? saying? So I appreciate you spreading some light on that. You know yeah, I mean? man, because, I mean, it's time to, because I'll I be feeling like like people like me and you, like, we like goats right now, because if you look at what we did from five years ago to now, mm -hmm. we have made a ton and of set accomplishments and have broke barriers and, and yeah. set goals and achieved them. Oh, yeah. No matter um, the ups, the downs, right. you know, anything that was going on, we still persevere through it right. you, you see what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so and i think Definitely. that we have given people hope you right. know what i'm saying yeah. to keep yeah. going because it's you know inspiration yeah it's some inspiration and you know i'm humble bro I like yeah. i don't like to offend people you know yeah. what i'm saying because oh, i yeah, feel yeah. like everybody is talented yeah. within it within, within their, their own, own way class. you know yeah. what i'm saying even people that you know that feel like Oh, he's not that good. He might not be that good to you, but he might have right. a whole nother fan base oh, over here. Right. I'm just I'm just like that. So I right. try yeah. I don't try to break anybody's spirit. Right. But it's like this That's year I'm gonna break your damn spirit because I ain't saying I'm gonna break your spirit. I'm gonna break might. your shit. He might break your spirit. Some people need to be broken because yeah, some people yeah. Yeah, you, right. you know, you they right. too right. up here. Yeah and you down yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Number right. one. Exactly. You can't be up here with that fake ass jury. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be talking about you the man, you got a master mm -hmm. plan, you're doing all this stuff, and you and you come to me and you talking to me like I'm a peon and I'm looking at your jury and I know you ordered it off the internet. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. rule number one. Right. They ain't going to the jeweler. Sit down. You ain't going to a jeweler. You, you know what I'm saying? Ain't yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with faking you it till you to make it. it. I'm not doing it. But right, what I'm right. saying is, if you're going to fake it till you make it, just be humble, bro. Because right. your V's ain't shining like that. You know what I'm saying? They're not V's. You know what I'm saying? Another thing. Said the V's ain't these, you know what I mean? Let the music stand out for itself. Like, stop talking so much. Stop saying how cold you is and all. Don't nobody care, bro. Just let that music speak. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? And we need to start supporting each other. Like, what's wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I watch people just support all type of people that they'll never meet in their life. Man. <laughs> and then people that That's be right true. next to them trying their hardest to make it. Right. You know, it's... They don't get nowhere. Yeah. It's... it's it's something that's got to change, you know what I'm saying, as far as like artists is and just people, period, you know. It's, it's too much negative energy going on. Um, being a rapper is one of the most hardest professions in the United States of America next to being a president. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our life is in jeopardy at all points of times just because we want to make music. Niggas right. want to stick you up. They want to rob you. Women want to try to set you up. Like, it's... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a yeah. very hard game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, But it's levels to this game. It's levels to this game. Levels to this game. It is. I've been involved in, um, shit, what, three, four shootouts? Like, I wasn't in, I wasn't involved in it, but, like, I was at the club, the club and they got the shooting, yeah. and people had to run out, like, right, major right. events, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, right. at the Pooh Shiesty event, I was there. I didn't see Pooh Shiesty shooting nothing, you know right. what I'm saying? But right. it was shooting going on, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then, um... At, at Club O, you know what I'm saying? Right, uh, right, right. Rest in peace of D-Thing, you know right. what I'm saying? We was there, and I don't know what happened there because that happened outside. outside I was inside, right, right, right. but just to be so close yeah, to, to it, like things that. that was going on, yeah. you know, it, it kind of slowed me down from doing shows because yeah. it's just, you know, in that in that field of doing shows, you know, it's always somebody that want to get some clout, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So. You know, when I be doing shows and then when I go to the club, I always get personal security everywhere I go. Right, right, right. So, you know what I'm saying? The only reason my bodyguard not here right now, shout out to my bodyguard, Mitch. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? Is because, you know, he had other work to do. But, right. like, I don't go no. main major or main places without a bodyguard. Like, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care if nobody's like, oh, man, he got bodyguards. First of all, I'm a high-profile artist. Right. In my eyes, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I'm the right. brand. And that's what people don't do. They don't protect the brand. All right. my homies, like, protect the brand. Yeah. Like, if something yeah. go on, you get your ass in the back. Right. Like, we know you tough. Right. We don't need you to be tough. Because right. what you got is going to take us out the hood. Right. So why right. we going to have you in the forefront and you're the artist? You're, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then secondly, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta be careful, bro. Yeah. Like I've I've seen you already know yeah. firsthand, like firsthand. I just seen so many things in business where people are like getting screwed over. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You know you you know yeah, we I know, know. Man, firsthand. We done so, been through so much. Man, man, I actually wanna talk about that, man. Okay. Um, I wanna talk about the music real quick. Let's go. Um, so you got you really got like four projects out. Yeah. You got four projects out. Mm -hmm. uh, we sat down and worked on all of them. Um, I know I got on your nerves. Man, boy, did you get on my nerves. But I wasn't mm -hmm. tripping, though. I wasn't tripping, though, because I like that. You know I know I, mean? I did. Because we pushed each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially when you're not recording with me. Yeah. You know it's like, all right, but you know, all right, I got to work a little bit harder because you didn't record with me. But, but that's you know I make though. them send you all my so music, I, though. Right. Oh, yeah. Definitely. If I'm not, even yeah, if I'm not uh, recording. Definitely. Yeah, because you you got a song with you got a song with Cowboy 147. Yep. And you got a song with King Lou. Yep, and I got a song on my new album, Alchemy with Ball Out. Yep, with Ball Out. Yeah. Yep. And you sent the file straight over to me. You, you told them, hey, nah, I got my engineer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's loyalty. You know what I mean in my eyes. Cause like, yeah, you with King Louie now. They got top notch engineers. And you still had them send it over to me so I can work on it. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's showing love right there. Yeah. Getting my name in doors and whatnot. Yeah. And I truly appreciate that. Because right. now I'm connected with all of them. Yeah. And you the man. And, no, I ain't the man. Yeah, you the man. Bro, you the man. <clears throat> you the man. Um But uh yo um your single with Cowboy, man. Yeah. How did how did that come about, bro? Because man, we was we was fighting. We was fighting with man. that song for like what, two years? Yes. Yeah, man. Trying to put it out just man. legally. Um, we, man. Uh, it was a streaming platform services that was really giving us a hard time. But yeah. um, label. how that came about, um, I had um, I had a big homie out there named Mark Cannon. Shout out to Mark Cannon. Shout out. Um, basically, like when I be in town, you know what I'm saying, he got a sprinter service. So he makes sure I like, you know, I'm moving around in the sprinter and stuff like that. So, right, right, um, right. you know, um, 
I had just got off the radio um, with um, 92.3. They had played one of my songs, and then I had did a, um, I had did a meeting with Crane's World TV. Yes, Shout out Crane's Shout World. Out Crane's World for real. And then um, Mark Cannon was just like, you know, you you like really, he's like, I see you focus, bro. Because, like, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying, he was kind of like, he, you know, all y'all kind of yeah. molding me, you feel me? So, yeah. you know, he was just like, you know, I think you ready for like a, a main feature, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like get your money together. So right. me and my manager's like, okay. So he called Cowboy right there, FaceTime. He's like, man, Cowboy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got an artist I want you to work with. I think he about to be like the next thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's like, man, who is he? He, he family, family? I'm, he like, that's my family. So he like, right. she told me, he's like, shit, I usually charge like 15, but tell him to come with 10 bucks. Right, right, right. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, we... we uh, uh. For the people that don't know what ten bucks he is, cause they ain't from the lane. Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so ten roaches. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, oh, they don't know what that is either. Come All right, okay. Come oh, on, I'm now, sorry. Man. You, you know, you know. Right. So, ten thousand. Right, so yeah, okay, you know, okay, he yeah, wanted yeah, he wanted sure. fifteen thousand at the time, which I think he's like at twenty thousand now. Right, right. Maybe twenty twenty five. Crazy. At that time, he wanted uh. uh <clears throat> Yeah, 15, but he he, he he most stamped it for the 10. Right. So he was like, how fast can y'all come up to 10? We like, we'll be on, we'll, we going, we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So right. the whole team got together <laughs> and we drove to Atlanta, yeah. met him at the club, you know what I'm saying? Hit him with the 10. Right. And then shit, he let us come to the club with him. We turned up in the club. Did a whole walkthrough. Did a whole walkthrough, okay. you know what I'm saying? That was my right. first little walkthrough, yeah. you know what I'm and saying? Then, I ain't never did no walkthrough before, so right, right. he kind of taught me how to do a walkthrough, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? But yeah. one thing I can say about about him is that um, we was we was kind of like having problems getting in, like my, my other people. Yeah. So as we were like walking in, like he stopped, like Cowboy stopped. And he yeah. looked back, he asked my manager, he's like, hey, all y'all people not in? He right. walked back himself so, damn, and went to the door. I was like, right. let all his people in. Dang, that's you know what I'm saying? And that's then right. walked back up. And I was like, that's damn, love. that was dope. Yeah, you know, right, so, right. yeah, I'm, like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I have an artist like that. That's how I'm going to do him yeah. and his people. You know what I'm saying? No, so, for real. Yeah, that, yeah that, was, that, was, that was dope. That, that was mad respect. Yeah. Was, I mean, I had fun working with them, though. You know, King Louis was cool, too. Yeah, King Louis, that's. That's a that's a staple right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. King like Louis is the, the OG for real. One of the most humble the drill, humble real. brothers I probably met in the game. Man, he yeah. seemed like it too. Yeah, humble, like, very humble. He really seemed like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he gave um, me a lot of game too. You know what I'm saying? Man, how did how did that come about? You know what I mean? Cause cause you called me and you told me like, yo, bro, I got the song. I'm about to have the song with King Louis. I was like, not King Louis. Not, not, not the, not, not the King of Drill, <laughs> Chicago King movie. I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah, Man, yeah. What? Yeah. So, how did that, how did that transpire? I mean, like, cause you uh, gotta know people. My manager, he already be talking to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Doing this thing. Shout out to the manager. Um, oh, it this is, this is about to be real funny. Oh. Cause my manager name is Red, right? Right, right, right. So. His barber who cut his hair name is Red. Oh, shit. So, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so Red told Red, right, right. like, man, you know, I, I like what you're doing with Shooter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, y'all looking good out here. He's Look, like, you yeah. know, I, yeah. I, y'all on jets. At, at this time, y'all on the yachts, you know what I mean? Y'all down in Miami, y'all partying, you know what I mean? You shooting these high quality videos. You paying like 20K a video. I'm like, man, what is he doing? I'm just looking though. I'm like, okay, he making the right moves. You know what I mean? It, it was fun watching that process because he was really evolving into that artist. Thank you. So, yeah, man, you was on the, the yachts and the in the private parties and all the exotic cars and whatnot, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so for you to get next to King Louis and be like, all right, I'm finna do a song with you. That was that was really dope. Yeah, and, so, um, I mean the my um my homie Red, shout out to my boy Red the barber. He uh, well he's more than a barber, he's a man, but he the one who put it all together because he know Louis. You know what I'm mm. saying? He been cutting his hair for years. So he put it together, put the bug in his head, like, you know, it's a dope artist I think you should work with. Okay. So Louis was like, send the budget. We sent the budget. Um, 
Are you allowed to, to disclose the budget? Yeah, he wanted eighty five hundred. Oh, okay. So he wanted okay. ten too, but he okay. did. He did it for eighty five. Okay. Gave us a deal. Okay. So, uh, um, yeah, when I came to the studio, I was overly nervous. Right. And you know me, you know I Yeah. You know I can write a whole album in one right. day. Right, right. But I'm not gonna lie to you, I was just I was nervous because you know, I, I listen I listen, you're listen right. to him all like all I time. came up listening to him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. to be sitting in the studio with somebody that I listened to and was like arguing over other niggas like this Louie, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. to be in the studio with him like yeah. dang, so Man. I'm nervous. So when I get in the studio as soon as I came in the studio, he's like, all right, when well, we on, bro, this is what we about to do. Like, like yeah. he wasn't like, yeah, I'm King Louie and you're, right. you're a peasant. Yeah. Hurt, and I'm just going to write my song. He right. made sure my shit was good. He's like, you like this? What you want to do? You want to go through the beat? You want to do this? Or mm. Like, That's what's up. Rolled up. We smoked. We, 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 we uh, conversated, conversated went back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Had a couple laughs and shit. Then he did his verse, you know what I'm saying? The verse was cold. And then he had to get up out of there. I'm like, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? That's and then he did up. that. I stayed there with his engineer, which his right. engineer, Jack Flash. Jack Flash, hey. Jack Flash made the beat. Real cool, dude. Real yeah. cool. Real I humble dude. Yeah, I so. He still want to work. You know, yeah, all he's the on. man. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's the man. And not only that, you know, it, you know, he made, the song that he made for me and King Louis, he also made B.O.N. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, that I mean, he made a classic. Hard, yeah, classic. Yeah, classic. So, classic. I mean. This is a classic yeah. for me, so yeah. you know. Shout out right. to Jack Flash, shout out to King Louis, you know what I'm saying? The right. whole Mubu family, you know what I'm saying, yeah. for showing me love. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody showed me love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody wasn't on none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, hey, no, nah, like it was that, just yeah. nothing but pure love. Yeah. Everybody pure was love. rolling pure blush. Love. It was I, my homies was talking to his homies, everybody was trying to network and talking about money, like, you know what I'm saying? It was like real Chicago. Right. You right. know what right. I'm saying? Like that's and that's what I'm trying to do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing you know, um, features with different artists from Chicago because um, yeah, I want to show that love. Get that I want to show that love, back. man. I want to show that we can that get money back. together and we can make songs together, you know, right. without all the negative energy because if you look at my city, mm -hmm. it's been so many lives that's been taken oh, due yeah, to the cause of music. A lot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to change the narrative of right. how it goes in my city. I got a lot of respect out there. I got a lot of love from all sides <laughs> right. and I'm trying to utilize that love to you know, connect the dots and, and put people together so that artists can make money in Chicago without dying. Yeah, you yeah. right, you right. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all making money right now. <laughs> y'all, man, I don't know if I even wanna say anything on camera, folks, because, cause, man, look, y'all, y'all running up, y'all getting the bag out there on me, y'all getting the bag. <laughs> I talk about that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I even want to talk about that, because that's, man, that's a lot of information, you know what I mean? Quarter meal could definitely look like $25 around this Right, right, you know what I mean? 25 you see? For real. Yeah, no, man. It's been ups and downs, man. I've been broke as hell, too. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah, no, man, look, bro, I remember you being down, broke, down. Yeah, I know you remember. You you was homeless. Yes. Sleeping in your car for real. Yeah. And yeah. that's when we was really really working and yeah. And no money was coming in. You almost gave up on yeah. music to the point where it was like, man, I ain't finna do this. Yeah, hey, I mean, I'm you done. talking to me in the car, you my uh, yeah. <laughs> you talking like, damn, bro, I can see your breath. Yeah, for real. <laughs> It'll be cold yeah, in that car, boy. Cold, but I was, but. I was, you know, I was encouraging you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you was. Definitely. I was really lifting you up, like, bro, you got to keep going, you know what I mean? When you I did. see somebody down, I don't never want to see them down. Yeah. That's where they can't get up, you know yeah. what I mean? And especially if you're good at something, I want you to succeed. So I'm going to push you. <laughs> I'm going to push you. You did. I'm going to be like, hey, nah, bro, this ain't this ain't shooter. We got we to get up, get in the lab. You definitely and push me. you come down here, you know what I mean? You ain't had no money for studio sessions. But I didn't care. Free studio time. Free studio time. Free mixing. Right. Because it was all love and I and I saw something in you. You know what yeah. I mean? You yeah. work hard, you push. I mean you invest in yourself. And I know I'm gonna get the return, but I don't think about that now. Yeah, we that's gonna come later. Super big change yeah, and big crib. Yeah. I'm really moving right me. next door to you like Kanye. Yeah. He really want me to have this super big chain on. And I'm not going for that. Because I'm lighter as it is. 
I'm with her as it is. The chain gonna drop my neck. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't gonna be able to look up. You yeah. know. I'm gonna fall down. He gotta have a chain this big, and you know then I'm moving next door to him. I don't know why he wanna do that, cause we ain't gonna never get no work done. I'm moving next door to him, dog. We ain't never gonna get no work done. We're yeah. gonna be laughing yeah. and eating cookies. I'm moving right next door to you. Cause, cause I am a bad influence on him. You he is. eats healthy. He eats healthy all the time. But when he come here, eating healthy is over with. That's 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 Man, just get cookies and fruit I had snacks. Cookies and stuff, the fruit snacks, you know what I mean? The pops, now the, the, the pops. Yeah, all you that. Know what I mean? Man, I'm, I'm drinking a Pepsi right now, you know what I'm saying? Had to get him a water. Mm, 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 yeah, he, he, he over here, Mr. Healthy. But um, but yeah, man, it's it's, it's gonna come back in the return. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Even like, even with the Cowboy song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was my first major placement right there. Yeah. First major placement. Yeah, I, you did make that beat, boy. Yeah, we, bro, what we do on made, uh, made Fifty K? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty K. Fifty K. Fifty K. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. I had made the beat, I engineered the song, recorded your verse, and engineered his part. Did you let them know that you got a plaque coming from my album? Oh, no, I ain't let them know that, man. Man, uh, why you know that? Man? Because, man, I'm about to get into that, man, but I'm going to let you talk about that. Because I need to shut up. I just that's, keep saying that's, stuff that's, wrong. That's, 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 that's all your hard work, bro. No, it's not. That's your work. Don't, don't, you know don't, don't, don't disrespect that. Man, bro. It's our hard work. But we did that together. We made we that. Did. We made that together. We did. We did. We yeah. Did. I ate all them cookies and stuff in the studio. We, we yeah. Did. yeah. I did the rapping, but you did the mixing. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I did the mixing. Takes nice two to the tangle, baby. It do, it do take two to tangle. Um. But talk about that, man. Like your plaques. Talk about your first plaque. Uh, my first plaque um was presented to my label. Um. Okay. So. Oh, your label is. What's uh, your label? Designer music. Designer music. <laughs> Chains busting. Well, I got two chains. Like, There's so many rappers in these two chains. I done had you on the show with two chains. E-Way on the show with two chains. Shout out E-Way. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all over here rocking two chains. I ain't rocking no chains. I'm like, look, I don't get it. Because when, get it. when you rap, when you rap, you got to hear this. <laughs> it like motivates you or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you get up there and you like, all right. And you feeling good. Right, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. So, oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, so your plaque. Right, so <laughs> basically, um, yeah, I just, my first plaque was presented um, through my label. So when I was on this journey, I didn't just want to be an artist. I want to be the CEO as well because at some point in time, I want to sit back and I want to own my label and let artists but, you know, do their thing. Do they thing. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I need to know every part of how it goes, which right. I don't know every part now, but I'm still learning. But yeah. I learned that certain things that the label was supposed to do for you, like your label was supposed to present certain plaques from you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um, the first plaque, you know what I'm saying, was presented through my label. Okay. The second plaque um, was because my album had reached up to 20, 126,000 streams on Spotify. Mm, that's a lot. Yeah. A lot. So all re- organic, organic, oh. organic. Oh, okay. And let me tell you okay. why it's organic. Okay. So I know, you know a lot of people be buying views. You know what I mean? They, yeah. They be buying views. They be buying there. that shit, and yeah. that's why you can't get that. What I got on my wall is you buying views. Mm, okay. So that's the difference. All right. All right. That plaque that I got on my wall is R I A A certified. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the so R- you saying I'm R I A certified engineer? Yes. That's what you said. Yes, definitely. Oh, shit. So we that means that each and every single last up. one of those streams from that plaque has been documented and counted mm. by a solidified company who right. does all major labels and companies. You cannot beat them. Mm. Ain't no beating them. Ain't none of that. They go through that with a fine tooth comb. And if you okay. have any right. type of suspicious activity in your stuff that is not looking efficient, mm. you, you're not getting what you what you feel you deserve. Mm. So I had to um, get all my streams counted first, and then I had to wait for them to count the streams, and then once they counted the streams and everything got submitted, right. then uh, I, everything was submitted in the Spotify, then they told me I was gonna receive my plaque. Okay. So I wish I would've waited though, oh, because uh, right after 
right after um I got the plaque for 126,000 streams, my album did 187,000. So now it's almost at 200,000 streams Dang. right now. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, you should have waited. Yeah. You should have waited. That's how it go. You but should, you, I mean, yeah. they're going up. You still yeah, when up. it gets it, when it gets to like a half a mil, I can try to submit it again for another plaque. But okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm working on a new album now, so Man. I don't yeah. even think about you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I already got my award for that one. You finna get on to that one too, cause yeah. the new album. Yeah. Man, y'all, let me tell y'all about this new album. So every time we make a song, I mean, anytime, we always say it's the best song. The last song he did was the best. <laughs> And that one was the best. And the last one was the best. We can't never decide on what songs be the best. Because they are the best. <laughs> <laughs> they are the best. Because they hit hard. I'm like, dang. That one cold. Like, like when you send me the songs, and I engineer I'm like, okay, that's hard. That's hard. And I go to the next one. Well, like, okay, that's hard too. I'm like, dang, the first one go crazy. And then as I'm going down, I'll be having to call you and be like, bro, bro, all the songs is hard. You know what's so funny? Because remember, I was like, bro, I think this is the coldest one. you like, if you say that one more, one time, more time, do you call me like, bro, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which don't one know. no more. Because cause they all like, bro, this, this new album you got, Car Album, by the way, coming out February 6th yeah. on my birthday. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know if the interview is going to be out by February 6th, though. But it's still good. Yeah, it's all good. It's still good. Yeah. But the songs are so crazy. He really just changed it up because it was really all like motivational, get money music. You know what I mean? And you yeah. motivating people. Yeah. But then like the last minute, you were like, Weezy. I gotta change the album. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I'm almost done mixing the album. You say you wanna add changes. Tell them how many songs I wrote in one day. You wrote four. <laughs> you wrote four specifically. Then you sent them to me. So I listened to them. I listened to them, right? I listened. To them. I'm like, okay, okay. Be hard right here. Be hard, okay? I was like, God dang it, you shooter. You always making these hard tracks, and I can't never figure out which one going to go. <laughs> but they hard. Thank you, brother. You got one on there called, it ain't even called Follow the Leader. It is. Oh, okay, yeah. I switched it because you wanted that to be the name. Man, look, Follow the Leader is hard, G. <laughs> Yo, when y'all hear this song, y'all mean you going to fall in love with it. Follow <laughs> I don't know what number it's going to be. I don't know what number but, it is either. Boy, crazy. You yeah. definitely gotta get that situated. <laughs> you gotta get that one man, going. Man, I know, man. But, but the album is crazy. So what made you come up with the name Alchemy? Well, if anybody know me, then you know I'm like heavily involved into like our ancestry, you know, right. H and Cable Line, which is the original name for Africa. Right. And, you know, a lot of our ancestors were alchemists, being able to, you know, manipulate energy and matter right. and turning certain uh, things into a different part of reality. So when it came to my music, I'm an alchemist in my music because I can change or alter and perception of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things that I can do with my words. Right. So once I understood how powerful my words are, then I started to, to utilize my words like a chemist. Okay. So alchemy, some, some definition of alchemy is being able to turn pain into pleasure. Okay. Being able to turn bad energy into manifested positive energy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Being able to manipulate, change, redirect, and redevelop. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So right, right, right. my my album is called Alchemy because it's going to change your perception of how you view yourself. Okay. Even if you view yourself in a good way, you're going to view it higher. Mm. But That's dope. I had to change it because for two years, like I told you, I've been right. in the clubs. The clubs, yeah. Just watching how yeah. it worked heavy. I had to heavy. because I had to see what the hell was going on. Yeah. So when I first was doing music, like you like you said, I make get right. money laid back music. Right. I would get my song played and it'd be so much this type of music. When it yeah. came to my songs, even though people like it, they'd be looking around like, yeah. who is this? 
Right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So, and it happened to me a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I got to change the narrative. And I, I started seeing that it would be a local artist. Right. You don't even know what he's talking about. But the beat is just going still tight. consistent with all the other songs that every, yeah. women are talking to and all the stuff that's going on. Yeah. So I'm like, that's why I, I called you and I was like, okay, I need to just, I need to put these last couple songs on here real quick. I need to make I need to make these clubby type songs mm-hmm. so that in the beginning it charges you up. So in the beginning right. of alchemy it charges you up. You right. animated. Animated. Right. Then when it comes down to the end, it cools you down. It mm-hmm. makes you think. It okay. puts you in a mind state of you know what I'm saying? Right. You know I like to have all my albums, you know, um versatile. I don't like my my music to sound the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So alchemy hopefully will build people up. To be better people. Okay. It's out of all, out of all the songs, like, and I hope you understand me when I say this. Okay. All the other songs don't mean nothing, except okay. for three songs. Okay. Three songs are designed to make you feel to break something and program something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Three songs are designed for that okay. purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Subconsciously. It's gonna make you become something that you're supposed to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now all the other songs in there are just songs, yeah. songs because yeah. the the mental cerebral of how we're being programmed right. has nothing to attract it but negative energy. So if it ain't like you, and if you ain't hello, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not gonna really gravitate to it. So those songs are in there just to. Gravitate you. So when you start listening more, the other songs are gonna massage your mind and it's gonna program you to become that greater part of you. Mm. So yeah, that's what that's what I mean. Okay. Mm. So that's dope. Thank that's you. deep. Hey, thank you. That's deep. Cause you ain't explain all that to me. You ain't explain none of this to me. Yeah, I couldn't. With this song. He always holding out on me, y'all. Always holding out. Man. <sighs> man. So so after this album, man, what's um, what's next for you, man? After the album, cause I know you got, I know you got about another fifty thousand songs tucked away that you ain't told me nothing about, and you like, and you just gonna send them to me one day. We three hundred and sixty songs up. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's a lot of songs. Yeah. That's a lot of songs. Well, you know I make like five songs a day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of songs. But that's good, though. You're working. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're working for real. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people need to see and know. You know what I mean? Like, because you look on your Instagram, you 28K? 28K mm-hmm. strong? Yeah. That's a lot of followers. I mean, but you you watch me from... Man, I watched 3,000. 1,000. Man. I've been working that page for five years. It got stolen from me. I had to get it back. I had to send my ID in. Man, crazy. You know what's so crazy, bro? A lot of people be like, like, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, Mm. it'd be a lot of hate, but people always be like, oh, yeah, man, I got organic followers. I got organic views. And I want to just tell you something. You cannot stop trolling people from following you. Right. You cannot stop fake okay. people from following you. Yeah, you can. You can. Like, you can. Once you get to a certain point, like, people are going to follow you. You're going to look on your comments. They're going to be asking who you bank with and listen to my mixtape and your mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can't stop who following me. I get, like... 10, 5, 10, 12 people follow me every single day, all the time. I can pull out my phone right now. I get 1,000 likes anything I post, right. 500 likes anything I post. And this is why. It's not because of me having to pay for anything. It's because for five years, and everybody know me, I went to everybody. Hey, my name is this. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, okay, right. I'm 80 years old. Right. Like, hey, my name is Jumpshot Shooter. Follow me on Instagram. Hey, my name is Jumpshot Shooter. Follow me on Instagram. Right. Hey, what y'all doing? Follow me on Instagram. I've been right. doing this for five uh, yeah. years, and I uh, keep yeah. my page going. Like, I don't really post yeah, on my main page like that. I, I keep my story consistent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I only post yeah, on my story. main page if it's going to be a big event or something. Right. And I feel like this needs to be promotion. It needs to be, um, because if I post a picture, I'm putting marketing behind it, promoting right. behind right. it, sponsorship right. behind it. So it's just not, right. I don't just do things. You know what right. I'm saying? Like when right. I do right. something, it's strategic behind what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But Got my story, Got a point. keep it consistent. You feel yeah. me? So yeah, you For know, sure. I've worked, I've really worked hard on 
my Instagram, that's like good. year, five years. Yeah. I got every step from yeah, one, because, a thousand to now. Yeah, because that's, that's your brand. That's your image. That's you. That's your yeah. resume. But that's your resume. I, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, when I did that song with Cowboys, when I really got a lot of follow, like a lot of more followers. Yeah. 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 Y'all feel, y'all feel yeah. It. Yeah. Cause it, cause it did go up. I was like, oh, he went from eleven to fifteen, mm-hmm. and then to twenty. I was and then to twenty eight. I'm like, yeah, dang. I've been at twenty eight. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't moved past twenty eight. I've been at twenty eight for like like a year. It seemed like two. It seemed like, oh, yeah, probably, yeah. Cause actually, it'd be, actually, yeah, it is. Because it'd be going up and down. Song, like, yeah. if I don't post every day on my Instagram, a lot of people will stop following me. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like so I always keep Instagram consistent. Yeah. Because they, they, be bo- they will be bored with you really fast. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know? Yeah, man. So, man, let them know where they can follow you at for real, man. You know what I mean? On Instagram. So, look, check this out. Yeah, hey, if you want to follow me, all you got to do is Google me. And that's every platform, every every interview, all my albums, anything that you want to know about Jump Shot Shooter, just go to Google, type in Jump Shot Shooter, all one word, do not space it. Mm, Immediately, right. you should see my picture coming to the side, and that could take you to streaming, streaming services platforms, that could take you to um, my videos, that could take you to uh, my interviews, blogs, anything that you want to know about me. Right. Just Google your boy Jump Shot Shooter. And don't forget, if you're in Fort Wayne right now, pay homage to my boy T. Weezy, one of the hottest producers coming out of Fort Wayne who is helping everybody in his city get to their pinnacle and reach their potential. Okay? I ain't doing nothing out here. Shout out to my boy the GOAT, man. T. Weezy, man. It's your boy Jump Shot Shooter, man. I got about 70 on, man. Coming from nothing to a whole bunch of something, man. Let's get it. Follow him. Follow me. You know what I mean? Yeah, follow us. Right, there ain't no him without me and me without him. Too many questions with shooter. We a team. I mean, dang, we. He done took my show over. He done took the show over. <laughs> yeah, dang, he done, he done took the show over.